Hey everybody, this is a video just about Kidspiration. Okay, so I'm going to launch Kidspiration here and I'm using the free version and that allows me to have just five um, five documents so that's why if I choose create it says I can't create another one but that's okay I'm going to choose open document and I'm going to take one that I've already created and I'm just going to delete them the slow way trash delete the slow way and then get you to see about the multiples which is in the um, top of the screen where you see I would call it the fourth icon from the left to right there's the home screen there's the outline there's the symbols and then the green circles means multiple so if I turn multiple on I can select 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 this will be the main I and then press delete now I've got a blank screen which is my way of working around the free version when you go to the third icon as you know already you get yourself the various categories that are all um, intended to be more kindergarten first grade second grade kind of things so I will pick a box of crayons tap tap and now I've got that and just like inspiration you have arrows that come down tap arrows that come down tap arrows that come down and if you're gonna make any value of this in outline view things have to be named so if I close up the symbols and I tap tap on the crayons um, I might call this um, tools we use and then this might be um, tap tap pencils tap tap iPads tap tap paper if you want to change the size of one you tap on that one called paper you press the T in the bottom and now you can make that bigger but if you want to change the size of multiple ones you go into multiple mode it's on tap on pencils iPads paper and now if you change the size they all change and if you change the font or you change the color um, each thing that each characteristic you change it's going to um, alter all of them because you're in multiple mode you can use your two fingers and pinch and you can do that as well in the top left, that little character is the home screen on Kidspiration. It takes you back to the library. I choose Open Document. I see the documents I'm working on. If I go to the AAAA right below the crayon one, I can change the title to my homework for lesson four and since I get a lot of these put your name and I know my name is Jane Doe I makes it easier for me when I'm keeping track of what everyone's done the outline mode is the second one first is the home screen in the outline mode you have things that look like this and you've got 
features on the bottom left, including a microphone. So T is that same text tool that's going to give you a very friendly interface to change the size and color of things. Tap on paper, make it 24. Um, tap on iPad, make that 24, so forth. You can add new topics, just like it's saying, double tap below to add a new topic. So you can go tap, tap, and you can add a new topic of what else do we have in the classroom? We will have um, blocks. You can make things be indented. So if I have pencils and I go plus, I can say um, we have red pencils. And I can make that with the right arrow go over in the outline form so that the red is indented. I can change the kind of outline so that you have um, different outlining tools that you use. And you see where it says image prefix. I'm going to change it to Roman numerals and it looks like that. I'm going to go to Roman numerals and change it to alpha, and it looks like that. So you can change bullets, and this one that's kind of cool is an image prefix in which you can actually use an image um, and for the substitution of the bullet in front of each thing. Um, what else? Every time you're on any screen, the upper right tool thing gives you both tips, help, and instruction space. Instruction space is where you can put instructions to your students. And I'm just fast typing here, but you can just put instructions that now sit in an independent box. Tips and helps are slightly different things, but they're both very useful, right? Whatever you're stuck on, tips and help. Right, give you good quality explanation of things. The arrow lets you mail it, which means email it, and you're emailing your Kidspiration map to yourself or to me or to somebody else. So you get more features like Dropbox if you buy the commercial version, but with the free version, there's only two features, including mail. The T up there takes you back to the diagram, the two things next to it. Um, if you highlight something like iPads and then you click the microphone, you have the red dot to record. And I'm hoping that iPads will become as important in our classrooms as tools, as blocks and crayons, not instead of them, but in addition to. And now I've got a voice recording, and that voice recording is right there where that blue arrow is above it. I'll start it. And I'm hoping that iPads... And I will stop it. When you go to the other mode, which is outline mode, you'll see that the, um, the audio comes along with it. All right? So this... I think I've covered most of the features of Kidspiration. Very similar to Inspiration, right? But the key thing that is different, which is why some of you will prefer Kidspiration, is if you're a fan of these tools and you like the different categories that are here, that's the reason, principal reason, you will use Kidspiration. From the home screen, if you like the templates and you say, gee, I'd like to be able to use those math templates, that math template, that science template, that history template, if you like that, that's the reason you're going to use Kidspiration. Okay, this is Steve Bergen signing off.
and hope this has been of help. Bye, everybody.